Hello, human. Thank you for being on the channel. I just finished binge watching Dexter Early Cuts. I was unaware of this until recently. I was reading an article about them possibly continuing with Dexter in some kind of way, like possibly following his son Harrison or figuring out something they could do with Dexter himself. And then that's when they talked about this. And I was like, hmm, what is this? And at the time when Dexter was new, as it was a couple of years in, then they started showing these little segments of Dexter early cuts to get the humans ready for upcoming episodes, upcoming seasons at the time. And with this, you have Michael C. Hall doing the voice for Dexter, which makes the series authentic. It feels part of that universe. And it focuses on Dexter's early kills as he's figuring out how to kill, who to kill, the different strategic elements that come into play there, and him learning from his mistakes, dealing with individuals like Alex Timmons, Gene Marshall, Cindy Landon, Jenna Lincoln, Peter Thornton, among others. And we get to see Dexter's first kill, the whole blood slide thing, and how he got his first boat. It was very fascinating to see, and they all went by pretty quick. It's something like 24 episodes. They're all like anywhere from two to three minutes apiece. They go by very fast, but they give you just enough to provide a little extra backstory on what Dexter was doing before the series. And I like that. In fact, if this were to if this would have been like a a live action show, that would have been pretty sick. And they could still do something like that if they wanted to in the future. You know, Dexter early years or something like that. And we can see him uh, before the events of the original series. I would not mind seeing something like that because this was short and sweet. And as a fan of Dexter, as a fan of Dexter New Blood. I really found myself immersed in this. They even used the music from uh, the show, Dexter, which was a nice touch. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to give this Dexter series, this animated series, 9.5 out of 10. It does what it's supposed to do. It gets you ready for... Uh, stuff that you'll see in the original series. And I just enjoyed it. I wish it were longer. I wish it were live action. But I couldn't get enough of it. As I mentioned earlier, I just had to binge it when I found out about it. And um, at the time when Dexter was new on Showtime, I saw episodes here and there and life happened and I was homeless and all kinds of crazy stuff. And by the time I got situated, the show was, you know, very far along at that point. And, and I just, you know, a few months ago, I sat down and just binged Dexter. And then I was able to watch Dexter's New Blood. Um, Dexter New Blood, by the time I finished the original series, was already over. But I was able to watch all that through and through. And I was like, oh, that's what that means. Now things are starting to make sense when you see all the episodes, the ends of the ins and outs of everything that is presented story story wise. And um, I just had a good time with this. Um, I'm going to buy uh, Dexter and Dexter New Blood. Hopefully Dexter Early Cuts is included within one of those particular box sets that I end up purchasing. So if you like Dexter, give this a shot. Won't take you long to watch it. You kick your feet up, have your snacks and just binge it. Terrence out.